Like, come on, bro. Let's be real. This is the fucking pink eye game. Y'all think I'm letting somebody touch me? Yo ass gonna die. Bang, bang, bang. Get money, gang. This ghetto DVD. You know? See, Hood was just talking about the signs. But we want to say... R.P. to uh, Rich Homie Quine real quick, you know he passed yesterday, you know what I'm saying, but here go Butter Chargers, you know what I'm saying, they, they charged him with an unsafe tire, like man, I ain't never heard of nothing like that in my life, I done been through high speeds, all that, see Butter, he, 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 he moving around with pistols and shit, he don't know how to Remember uh, what 50 Cent say, he say, hit the clutch, hit the gear, hit the gas, and I'm gone. What, what, uh, he was like, I got a stash. Box, I hit the AC. Some shit. Remember when 50 Cent was talking about his stash box? He should have had a stash box, man. It's for y'all young kids, man. Even though you don't want it in a stash, but you need a stash box, dude. You can't just be riding around and with a gun and stuff. And then, you know, Butter, he, 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 he was on uh, Vlad, I think. Talking about he don't have no license and stuff like that. So I knew but ain't had no license. That's probable cause to get pulled over and search. I don't know what what town he uh he been in, but no license is a uh, probable cause. So if you ain't got no license, they could pull you over. Now if you went to high speed, the high speed is the is for you to get rid of your evidence or stash it or whatever. How did he get in a high speed and still ended up getting busted? Like, man, I don't been in two high speed. Last year I was in two high speeds, bro. They suspended my license for not taking a breathalyzer. Real talk. Like, bro, you gotta get out of them jams, man. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? He was going through the problems. With the with the glasses and the uh with the uh with with him with the with the red eye the pink eye whatever he said now I hope you could see that man you out in Hensdale Hensdale is a nice area he shouldn't even have no gun on him in Hensdale it's nothing but rich doctors lawyers uh f famous people and stuff in Hensdale he shouldn't even been in no Hensdale Illinois. With no gun. Ain't nobody in Hensdale. Ain't not one person in Hensdale where he had to worry about carrying a gun. Then you could be, you never know. I don't have people telling on me and shit. Back in the day, motherfuckers be knowing where everything at. Somebody could have told on him and set him up. He don't know. I want y'all to keep y'all eyes open, man. This ghetto DVD, man. FBG Butters arrested. Those his charges up there, man. Uh, he out. He 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 in jail right now. When no bond, he got court in the morning. He got a court in a few hours. And I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Like he getting locked up and stuff like that, man. We can't keep up with all this news with Butter. It's hard to keep up with all this news with Butter, but every day we reporting on Butter. Like, Butter, dude, you act, to me, this is like some kid shit, bro. Like, you got a chance. All you got to do is sit down, man. All you had to do is listen to me and Unc, G. If you would have listened to me and Unc right now, I swear to God, you probably would be rich as hell, dude. If you just listen to me and Unc, but you got to show out for 20 females, hat. Half of them, your family. You got your guys you trying to bring up. You trying to bring them up. You you got too much going on, dude. After you get to, you need to sit down. This is not playtime. This is not playtime, dude. I want y'all to know this is not playtime.
give y'all a little bit more game before I sign out. You know, I was just in a joint with niggas who was like, man, G, you got a second chance, man. Go out here and do this shit for me, man. For one, shout out Bankhead. He in Danville down there. He had something happen. He had a, a gang of robberies. He was an older nigga, man. He ended up beating the robberies. Somehow he got into it with his uh, sister boyfriend or something. I don't know what happened, the whole story. But he ended up getting caught with a gun. The man beat all the robberies and got armed habitual. Bankhead doing 18 years for armed habitual. My celly, I just left my celly. He was from, uh, where was my celly from? He was from uh, Sircon City. He was doing 18 years for a gun. He said he just got out of jail for like a carjacking or some shit. And he had two felons. He had a robbery. I think he had a gun. He had a carjacking. And then he had something else. And he had armed habitual. He said he was just riding down the street, man, with his homies. And, and it was a gun in the car. I don't even think it was his gun, man. And they gave that man 18 years for armed habitual. That's extended terms. So that's like extending terms for a robbery is like 9 to 45. So if you got extended terms... He facing at least nine, ten years, dude, or more, depending on his charge, depending on how many cases he got, depending on his background. Butter could get 18 years for getting caught with a gun because that armed habitual was really not uh the unlawful use of a weapon and the armed habitual. Those laws are not constitutional. Because an unlawful use of a weapon, you're not actually using a weapon. You just have a possession of a weapon. Those laws was unconstitutional. So he got a chance to, with this armed habitual and the unlawful use of a weapon, he have a chance if he got a monster lawyer to go in there because those charges is really unconstitutional. I'm the real ghetto lawyer. Don't let nobody tell you, who the hood lawyer is and all that. They got that for me, and I can show you proof who is the real ghetto lawyer. Go look at my first channel I made in 2011, The Nation News, and remember me, the ghetto lawyer. That was like my second or third mixtape, man. I remember me. I'm the ghetto lawyer. So arm the bitch who, that's the case where they got extended terms. Extended terms is, let's say, you facing a 6 to 30. Extended terms is they add more time to it, so it could be nine to forty-five. If you fighting a six to thirty already, and it's extended terms, now it's nine to forty-five. So uh, armed habitual it gotta be an X. It gotta be a class X. So I'm gonna give y'all some more updates, man, and I'm gonna make sure y'all. I'm gonna keep y'all update on the case. They for like butter. He forcing me to tell y'all about law. And tell y'all about high speed chasing stash box. But somebody got to get y'all the game. Everybody ain't going to get y'all no game. I had to learn all this stuff on my own. Going through jails. Going through all this stuff. So y'all stay tuned, man. He dealing with a, an extended term case. Armed habitual is extended terms. And two of my niggas, they had more than 15 years for an armed habitual case. I'm telling you. Marcelli, he had, what, 18 years just for a gun, man. It was sad, man. It was sad to see that brother in jail for 18 years for a gun, dude. A armed habitual, man. It's real sad, bro. Bankhead, he was older. He got caught with two Rugas, I think he said. Two Rugas. He doing 18, 15, 18 years. I'll show y'all these guys' cases if y'all think I'm... Matter of fact, hold on. I'm finna see if I can find one of these guys' cases. Hold on. 
For the record, I want to know how the fuck is y'all listening to a a hood lawyer that ain't never been locked up a day in his fucking life. I'm talking about Seti Nash. Y'all listening to a nigga that don't know shit about the fucking law. He pretend like he know about the law and took that hood lawyer shit from me. I'm the ghetto lawyer. He is nigga. not no fucking hood lawyer. How the fuck is y'all listening to a nigga that ain't never been to jail in a, a fucking day in his life? Never been arrested before, nigga. And he calling himself a hood lawyer. He ain't even know no fucking lawyer. He's been milking that YSL case. He don't he know don't shit. Even know that. He, he don't know even shit about no, no fucking, fucking lawyers. Law. I done had all the top lawyers. I done had Frank Campbell. Frank Hemble. Hemble. I done had garbage ass got uh, me real Charles loaded. Ingalls. I done had Goldberg. I done had a lot of motherfucking lawyers, dude, in my day, bro. Charles Ingalls was the best one, dude. That's King Louie lawyer. That's my lawyer. A couple of other people were... Uh, Few lawyers he had got L. Hitler boy off. My lawyer. Real talk. I gave L. Hitler boy my lawyer. They got him off that shit. Real talk. But here go a case right here. This is my homie. I ain't going to show his face. But he got 15 years for armed habitual. I could show you another one. I think the guy got 18 years for it. Extended terms is more if you is you get more than six to thirty, gang. The bare minimum is probably nine. So that's an extended term case because all X's is six to thirty. So if you got armed habitual, that's extended term, man. That meaning that they they putting a couple of more years on it, like it could be nine to forty five. So the bare minimum they gonna give you is ten. That's if you lucky. You see they gave fam. 15. Stop letting these niggas lie to you, man. These niggas ain't never been to jail, ain't never did nothing a day in their life, man. Y'all stay focused, man. Bang, bang, bang. Get money, gang.